Hi, and in this video we're going to turn through the pages on edition number 13 of U-Boat in Focus. This one came out recently. Um, so we'll start turning through them. Um, start off, all the images have uh, German on the left, English on the right captions. The English is excellent. I've shared a few emails with the staff at, uh, at the publishers and their, their English is probably just about as good as mine is actually. Um, so I come down, we've got the contents, uh, the editorial, where Axel goes through things that are uh, uh, happening at, at the publishers. Reader's Forum, which is where um, people can write and make additions and corrections to photographs in previous editions. Um, that can be they can send in uh, photographs um, that add to an article in a previous issue, or they can also send in more information about a photograph that appeared in, in an earlier issue. So this one's type 2 U-boats. You can see here's a couple of U-boats. Looks, this looks like a, a photo graphic opportunity because there's so many people in the conning towers that um, that would never normally happen. So this is obviously all set up just for the photographs. Conning towers. Now this is an article about the La Spezia conning towers, which were um, basically conning tower anti-aircraft modifications that were fitted in La Spezia, obviously. Um, and from what I can gather, there's no real um, definitive source of information on exactly what happened, what what the modifications were and how they worked. So basically what they've done here in this um, article, which is a pretty long article really, um, is pull together photographs to sort of explain exactly, you know, as much as they can, what the modifications were and what, also what the problems were with them, why the modifications were made. And, and the, it wasn't just one modification, there was, it was changes to the modifications as time went on. You can see it's basically it's replacing the anti-aircraft guns. As I said, it's, it's quite a long article. Usually the articles are not that long in this magazine. Uh, armoured personnel boxes. You can see this one, this conning tower is slightly different. There's another photograph of another one. This didn't uh, didn't last too long though because it introduced too much top weight, so they were quickly phased out. An interesting article on some camouflage experiments on Type 2A boats in the summer of 1939. Um, there's not not much known about these. Um, basically it's just, I think, just the photographs surfacing that made people realise that this was actually a thing. Here's a photograph, a, a profile view in case you want to try and replicate it yourself. Uh, an unknown uh, black line emblem on the on a conning tower. This is the sort of thing that um, people write into for the uh, for the readers form at the start. Basically, put a sudden in a, a lot of these issues. You you'll often find basically questions asked. You know, like um, like what is this article? What is this emblem? And also at the front here, there was a question asked as who's this guy? Anyway, back uh, crossing the lines uh, uh, document. And then a story of a sinking of the Avrilla Star by U201, photographs of the pennants. There's the ship that was sunk. And here's the 201 coming back to harbour. This will be out in the in the roads ent entering the harbour. Now actually coming back into the harbour with the oak leaves and coming alongside. A couple of um, officers of 387 in Luftwaffe jackets. So my guess is um, they've swapped those jackets for, for the original. There's a couple of Luftwaffe officers walking around somewhere in U-boat officers' jackets. Um, collision between U-35 and the Admiral Graf Spee. There's the U-35, there's the Graf Spee, and there's the U-35 afterwards. And they were they were quite lucky to get away with that one. It made quite a mess of the forecastle. 
And here's some interesting photograph where the crew of U575 wearing Lilliput pullovers, which is basically that's from I think a nightclub in Hamburg, I think it was. Can't quite remember. It's from a nightclub anyway. Explosion on board U67, made on the back cover. Uh, a couple more photographs just to finish off. So this is the latest issue, number 13. Um, hopefully not unlucky. Um, yeah, it continues on with the series. Basically, this is the. Um, what should we say it's almost? A, I could almost say the cutting edge research on um, on U-boats from the Second World War, and new things are being found all the time. And uh, yeah, so if you're into U-boats, this is the magazine you need to subscribe to.